Hello gamers, geeks and gays, my name is Sturx and you're here for part 7 of The Outer Wilds. I don't know why I always say THE Outer Wilds, because it isn't, it's just quite plainly, it's over there, it's Outer Wilds, isn't it? In the last episode, I made a boob. I messed up. I uh, completely forgot or didn't appreciate that it was a thing I could do, um, some of the movement mechanics in the game. And it's something we have used, to be fair, and it was pointed out in the comments by a few people. I went in this morning to do a bit of a practice and see if I was imagining it or if it's something I could actually do. And it is a thing I can actually do. So today, we're not going to mess around. We're going to go straight back to Brill Hollow and we're going to track down Rebek. Because now I know how to get over the wall of the house with the trees growing in it and I practiced saying that because if you remember what happened last time I couldn't say it but thank you again for all the love and support you guys have been giving me if you got this far and you haven't already please feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell it helps you as much as it helps me because I've had a lot of people say that they're always itching for more Outer Wilds content and that is why I'm putting such a heavy emphasis on this game. Partly because I love this thing and it's making me feel things that games haven't made me feel in a very long time. But also because I know you guys enjoy it and you have a passion for the game. Without further ado, however, everybody, let's get into said game. We'll track down Rebek. We will see what Brittle Hollow has to offer us. And hopefully we can start to kind of make heads and tails of what's actually going on here because I still haven't really got a clue. We're on what, episode 7 now? That's like 4 to 5 hours of recording time that I've managed to do. Um, and I honestly swear to God I haven't played any of the rest of the game in my spare time. I'm keeping this exclusively for recording sessions because I don't want to spoil it for myself. Anytime I'm on the internet and anything vaguely Outer Wilds comes up, I have to just scroll past it. Which is very much the opposite of what I want to do. I want to be able to read. I want to be able to know what's going on. But it'll spoil the game. And I'm not going to spoil the game. Alright then. So, buckle up everybody. We are going straight to the Brittle Hollow as it flies past us. We are speedy as all hell. And we can catch that no problems whatsoever. No problemo. I do like the massively different kind of ecosystems and world styles that we have going on here. Very much similar to our solar system. Not to the same extreme, mind you. We don't have a planet with a black hole in the center, as far as we're aware. What am I seeing there on, on the top? Right there, near, near the cursor. What am I looking at? Because that looks like something we might have to go have a look at. After, that is, we have found Gabbro. Not Gabbro, Rebek. You all know who I'm on about. Okay, there's more stuff here. Is that like a know my landing pad? Is that what it wants me to go? Right, before... Ooh, I don't know if I want to go there if it's all exploding. Before we go in, I need to get my bearings. I do think for now, the best thing to do is just land over here because this is where we got to last time. I do now know how to navigate Brittle Hollow and I'm probably going to regret putting the ship up here to be fair because if I run out of like jetpack fuel there is no way of getting back to it and now I'm kind of thinking do I go back to that landing pad but we're here now if it all goes badly you can blame it on Sturks that's absolutely fine Oh, wow. I love these shots that we keep getting when everything is kind of lined up beautifully because we're on, like, the equator. Makes me very, very happy. Right. 
So, last time I got in a bit of a panic because I couldn't figure out how to do pretty much anything. Turns out it is as simple as standing and doing that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and I got so stressed over the fact I couldn't do that. Right, we're in the house. And there's more of these purple crystals. They're different in colour to, like, the quantum crystals. And actually, I don't know if we've seen anything else purple in no my kind of dig sites. Everything's kind of been blues. From what I remember, anyway. Ooh. Hope that wasn't my ship. Oh, that's what the purples are used for. We have seen the purples before. I'm just chatting a load of fibs. Okie dokie then. We can do this. Also, sight saying okie dokie on ironically because I finished watching the Fallout TV series. Have you seen the Fallout TV series? Let me know what you think. Um, and because Lucy McLean always says okie dokie, I've just started using it. And it's now in my head. I can hear... I can hear the banjo, but that's going to have to wait. Gravity Crystal Workshop. Oh, that would explain a few things. Oh my god. This is giving me a bit of vertigo. Not going to lie. What's over here? Gravity Cannon East. What the frick's in it? Gravity cannon. Ha oh, oh. ha. Okay. Okay. So we got a workshop. We've got the gravity cannon. That looks like a gravity cannon. That looks a bit like the probe cannon. And then every th those two go to there. But why? Hmm. We'll figure it out. The Hanging City. Now, how do I get... Oh, Rebeck. Okay, he's below me somewhere. Oh my god. This is... Stunning. I look at this place, guys. I'll be back, Rebeck. I thought the path would take me to some stairs, but it's a bit longer than I was expecting. Oh my god. Thank you, pardon. Oh my god. Look at this place. I hope this ends up taking me somewhere where I can get to Gabbro. Not Gabbro, Rebeck. I'm going to keep referring to every explorer we find as Gabbro, because Gabbro is our first explorer. Oh my lord. Black Hole Forge District. Eye Shrine District. Meltwater District. And the school district. Whoa. That was the Meltwater district. Are you. Oh! This is dope! And the soundtrack. Hey, let me have a look. Where's that go? Oh my god. <sighs> Why is this making me emotional? Oh my god. This is... 
Oh, I don't have words. And I'm a fairly eloquent individual. I can usually put words to feeling. So I've also found out that I can do this. I don't have to fire um, the probe, which is quite good. There's a bunch of stuff that I feel like I'm, I'm learning now how to play the game properly, purely because you guys have told me. Oh, no, we're going to run out of oxygen. No, 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 no. Please tell me there's a tree in here somewhere. Don't make me... The planet's falling apart? What? I didn't know that was a thing to worry about. Is the planet falling apart that badly? Okay. Are we on the other side of this now? I don't even know. There's so many dead Nomai in here. There are so many more Nomai than I thought there were. Where does this take me? Like, the way that we had the named ones, I just presume there was like, I don't know, like, maybe ten. Thank you. I just had it in my mind that it was maybe like 10 Nomai or something, and then that was that was it. They were just like a precursor species. You know, there's that trope where like a precursor species, usually there's hardly any of them. This is a full civilization. Like, what is this? Is this a school? This got a... No. Oh. They died. At school? Explanation of festivals. All the Nomai clans from all over the universe meet in one place to share what they've learnt in science and art. It's called the festival. Don't forget, festivals happen every 10 years. We can't go because we're stuck here, but Felix says we used to go too. At some festivals, one clan's big discovery can mean all the Nomai get to advance too, like Anona's Warp Core, which made it so everyone can warp long distances and explore more. Each clan has a festival envoy to show their most interesting work. Our envoy was Thatch. A single festival could last a long, long time. What do you mean you're stuck here? What are all these used for? I like as well the small details, how that writing looks more scrawled. That looks like... We've all been, well, I'm presuming we've all been to school. When I was at school, we still had blackboards in the UK. You know, blackboard and chalk. That's what that looks like. It's, it's, they've written bigger, everything's more emphasized, it's a little bit less neat. They've scrawled that. I love that. Oh, oh, oh! Right, we can remove that one. I'm gonna put the scroll down. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, got it. What's this one say? Formation of this universe. No one knows how this universe was made, but one thing we do know is everything used to be very hot and very dense. As this early universe expanded, it also cooled down. Once it cooled down enough, particles were able to group together to form things like galaxies, stars, and planets. Since then, space has continued to expand at a faster and faster rate, which is hard to think about for too long without your brain hurting. This universe will keep getting cooler and larger until one day, the stars and the life they support will all die. That's scary to think about, even though Inconoi tells me it won't happen in our lifetimes. 
but it'll happen in someone else's someday. Is that what's happening now? Have we just reached the end? Oh my god. I just, I am blown away by everything this game has to offer me. Like, they've got more of these things. Like, I don't know if they're toys or teaching aids or what's that block below us? I don't know, and I don't think I want to know. Not yet. Not yet. There are stairs over there, too. Oh my god, the, the black hole is warping things so much. I don't know what I was expecting from Brittle Hollow, but I don't think it was this. Oh, this whole planet is falling apart. I was going to say, Rebeck, are you still there? So he's on, like, there, but how do I get there? Well, let's go look at one of the other districts. We can do this. We'll do it one at a time, and I'm going to focus on doing this until we complete Brittle Hollow. Black hole forge controls. Am I qualified to use this? I don't think I am. What? But why? Black hole forge controls. But why? Why? What does that do? Is it good or is it bad that I've moved that? I don't know. Oh my god. Right. The Astrid project requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How should we obtain it? I don't know. How should you obtain it? I'm not the scientist here. You guys are scientists. I mean, I guess I'm a scientist. I'm, 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 a, I'm a linguist. And I've come up with this tech, I guess. Solution two. We should craft a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. The vessel? Banning the vessel's warp core and its casing means losing valuable knowledge. This is true, however. It's knowledge we have little hope of recovering. It would be best to relearn, I think. I'd very much like to craft such a powerful core. More relevantly, I believe the Black Hole Forge crew and I could recreate this basic design. This is the safest path for our clan. It's the safest path, the best one. Our goal is worth the risk. Is it though? We have tried for so long to find something that I and others now believe might be impossible to find. If the search for the eye is a futile one, we should choose the option with the least potential for harm. The greatest challenge here, I think, is we don't have the design for such a powerful core or any of the original crafters of the vessel's core. No, but Poke was apprenticed to Anona, who created the original design, and our Black Hole Forge is adept at crafting simpler cores. I believe I can be of use here. The vessel's warp core was created before my time, but Anona explained many of his designs to me. So, how many of the characters we've been interacting with through these, how many are, like, contemporary? Are they all from the same time? They might not be. 
like, when was all this? Was this before or after the Ash Twins? This is before the Ash... Jesus, this is before the Ash Twin. So now we've not just got this to deal with, we've got to figure out who is from when. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. This one is getting very existential very quickly. Solution one, we retrieve the warp core from the vessel. This would require a return to Dark Bramble. Plume, my father said many good nomai perished there. My mentor, Calais, and his old mentor once discovered and studied an anglerfish fossil on Ember Twin. Using that knowledge, we could avoid the anglerfish entirely. I remember the anglerfish fossil. We used to play in Fossil Fish Cave when we were children. What Melori and I learned from that fossil would theoretically help us evade the anglerfish, but our hypothesis was never tested on a live specimen. The vessel's warp core is broken. At best, recall those presents when the vessel crashed and said, said it sustained lethal injuries. Okay. There is no guaranteed reward for this risk. Perhaps we could still repair it. My grandmother told me there was little time to assess the nature or extent of the damage. Even if it no longer functions, the old core could be a valuable blueprint, provided we're able to transport it back here. What have they learned about the anglerfish? Because we encountered one last episode. What have they learned? How can we avoid them? Oh, we're going to have to go to the Amber Twin. The Ashen Twin next. I feel strange trying to recreate an owner's warp core without him. At times it still feels strange to no longer be his very young apprentice. And for the Black Hole Forge to be in my care and not his... Hypothesis, this will always feel strange. Even though my time with him was short, I miss my old mentor and deeply. To have the chance to try is thrilling, but I don't want to disappoint everyone. I think I could do this. What if excitement has clouded my assessment of my own abilities? Was I wrong in volunteering to build it? I was born in this star system and never saw a known as Warp Corp with my own three eyes. I only know what he taught me. What if I've bitten off a larger portion than I can consume? Still, all I can give is my best, and as an owner would say, should my best prove insufficient, then we will find another way to achieve what's needed. I have Clary and Root in the forge, and I have my clan. I'm not alone. That's, that's a good way of thinking of it. I think we all can sometimes feel like we're not good enough, or that we might fail. And that's okay. I'm aware we are so nearly out of time. But I just have to try. This is an experience I don't think I'm ever going to forget in this game. I cannot put into words just how amazing this game is. It doesn't feel like a game at all. This is a piece of art and you can't convince me otherwise. So let us use our newfound jetpack techniques and go and find a nice place to just watch the end of the world. Here we go. And I don't feel bad about this one. I feel like I've redeemed myself. But boy, that has put so many things 
into perspective and at the same time it's blown so many things out of perspective you know oh my god the soundtrack the whole way through Brutal Plus the Hollow has had me just it's my hairs are standing on end and that doesn't happen very often especially in games music does it and I think that's what's doing this to be fair oh my god oh my god that is all we have time for today everyone thank you so much for joining me on this adventure i am obsessed with this game and there's going to be no end to the content i'm going to make for this i already have ideas for what's going to come next i've already made a bit of a clue as to what that's going to be in fact i told you outright in the community section but i would love to do a kind of theatrical law series after this in a completely different format to what you're used to but i want to use my kind of photography and film skills to kind of put things together and give you guys more content to consume. I am genuinely obsessed with this game and everything it entails and I can't thank the community enough for the support you guys have given and for feeling included and welcomed even when I'm making mistakes like not knowing how to use the jetpack you guys are warm and welcoming, and I love that about it. Um, but I just... I don't know what else to say about this game. I feel like I talk about the same few things every single time. Next time, though, I definitely will be going back to Brittle Hollow. I think this is going to be like the next few episodes, definitely. is going to be Brittle Hollow related. I need to uncover everything there is about Brittle Hollow. I need to know what's happening. And we have to meet Rebeck. I just don't know how to quite reach him. Is that something on the moon? I've not seen something crash on the moon before. Let me write that down somewhere so I don't forget about it. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. It has been one hell of a ride. As usual, I have been Sturks. You guys have just been incredible. And I'll catch you all later for the next part in our adventure.